So here is the 3D model. I made these four plates plus these four that you can add but you don't necessarily need to have them. For example, me, I did not use them. I've made them, I made the holes and everything so you can al it's aligned but uh, I don't use them because I use 15 millimeter aluminium here and um, it feels that it's it's strong enough so I don't need to add one but probably one day I'll add like these four these four pieces so it can increase rigidity but it's it's really necessary if you start to use like a 10 millimeter and not 15 millimeter aluminium stock and uh, yeah so if you if you use a 10 millimeter stock you just need to if you use fusion 360 or even every program is pr pretty much the same you select a face you extrude you put for example minus 5 if you have a 10 millimeter and then you press enter and that's it you have the 10 millimeter part so you can machine from 10 millimeter what you need to check is really uh, the distance from here to here it should be 100 millimeter if not you can adjust the holes so the overall cost for me it was around 50 euros around 12, 20 for the aluminium depending on where you live and how much you buy the, the aluminium it can vary but uh, for me it was like 50 euro and really it's, it, it add a lot of rigidity to the machine so it's really worth it uh, I paid this machine I think it was around 1000 euros so a 50 euro upgrade here and then maybe another one that I'll make here later on like it's not it's not that much of a money and uh, it, it increased the, the rigidity and reduced the vibration so it's really important for me to make this kind of upgrade uh, we'll make probably one here behind so this is tw tw uh, 12 millimeter rod so I think I'll use uh, I'll use the same one here if I have distance I've checked with the um, caliper I think I can make it so if I make it I'll make a video about it too and upload the, the files so everyone can make it everyone who has this machine can make it so it's it's cool to to make upgrade with the own machine you can upgrade the machine itself so it's really it's really cool so here to attach the parts to this one I've used uh, six millimeter holes here it's five uh, 50 50 millimeter five centimeter and then I made a hole of like uh, I think it's three centimeter or five centimeter around a bit less than five to not cross to not go on the other side but it wasn't a six millimeter it was a hole of five millimeter to make a thread of six millimeter so here it's a hole of six it's a screw of six here it's a um, five millimeter hole and then you make a thread of six millimeter same on the bottom same on the other side, it's exactly, it's, a, it's exactly a copy, it's exactly the same. If you have, if, it loo if it's loose here, you can make a hole, make a thread and pass the, the screw in, in the middle of the, the round bar. M me, I did not use it, I've made it here but it's pretty much useless because the screw, I can take it off because it was really tight so it's not moving from left to right so it's not really necessary <laughs>